The Valley of Search. The steed of this valley is patience. It is incumbent on these servants that they cleanse the heart, that they turn away from imitation, which is following the traces of their forefathers and sires, and shut the door of friendliness and enmity upon all the people of the earth. And if he findeth on this journey a trace of the traceless friend, he shall straightway Step into the valley of love. The steed of this valley is pain. Until thou burn with the fire of love, thou shalt never commune with the lover of longing. Love setteth a world aflame at every turn. Wherefore must the veils of the satanic self be burned away at the fire of love? And if the lover escapes from the claws of the eagle of love, he will enter the valley of knowledge and come out of doubt into certitude. His inner eyes will open and he will shut the doors of vain imaginings. The wayfarer seeth in the fashionings of the true one nothing save clear providence. After passing through the valley of knowledge, which is the last plane of limitation, the wayfarer cometh to the valley of unity and drinketh from the cup of the absolute. He pierceth the veils of plurality, fleeth from the worlds of the flesh, and ascendeth into the heaven of singleness. With the ear of God, he heareth. With the eye of God, he beholdeth the mysteries of divine creation. He steppeth into the sanctuary of the friend and shareth as an intimate the pavilion of the loved one. He stretcheth out the hand of truth from the sleeve of the absolute. He revealeth the secrets of power. He seeth in himself neither name nor fame nor rank, but findeth his own praise in praising God. He beholdeth in his own name the name of God. Peace be upon him who concludeth this exalted journey and followeth the true one by the lights of guidance. And the wayfarer, after traversing the high plains of this suburnal journey, entereth the valley of contentment. In this valley, he feeleth the winds of a divine contentment, blowing from the plane of the spirit. He burneth away the veils of want, and with inward and outward eye, perceiveth within and without all things. The day of God will compensate each one out of his abundance. 
although to outward view the wayfarers in this valley may dwell upon the dust, yet inwardly they are throned in the heights of mystic meaning. Even at fire he seeth the face of the Beloved. After journeying through the plains of pure contentment, the traveler cometh to the Valley of Wonderment, and is tossed in the oceans of grandeur, and at every moment his wonder groweth. Now he seeth the shape of wealth as poverty itself, and the essence of freedom as sheer impotence. How many a mystic tree hath this whirlwind of wonderment snatched by the roots! How many a soul hath it exhausted! For in this valley the traveller is flung into confusion, albeit in the eye of him who hath attained, such marvels are esteemed and well-beloved. At every moment he beholdeth a wondrous world, a new creation, and goeth from astonishment to astonishment. After scaling the high summits of wonderment, the wayfarer cometh to the valley of true poverty and absolute nothingness. This station is the dying from self and the living in God, the being poor in self and rich in the desired one. Yea, all he hath from heart to skin will be set aflame so that nothing will remain save the friend. He who hath attained this station is sanctified from all that pertaineth to the world. This is the plain whereon the vestiges of all things are destroyed in the traveler. As colors slip through clutching hands Wash away all hopes and plans We know we all would like to stay As well it's known we're on our way The time we spent is often lost Tears now wept, the only cost. Though time is always now to us, the tendency to save a must. Omnipresence is our goal, being part and being whole. Together, now apart, we find an ending in the start. Reflections of jihad reveal a different being. You, I feel at first refusing lesson shared. Changes called for. Though not dead Moments saved Are simply spent As payment for this Earthly rent Concern for time We've yet to see Keeps us from Eternity there's only truth right here and now If we just be as one somehow 
will find the words all dissipate. The golden silence worth the wait. Omnipresence is our goal, being part and being whole once together now apart. We find an ending in the start. Reflections of jihad reveal a different me and you I feel. At first, refusing a lesson share Changes called for, though not dared A place to stay, though not for long A feeling we just don't belong If only someone heard our voice we would have made a different choice connections seldom seem to fit perhaps it was too soon to quit there's always something else to say thought train seemed to lose its way. Omnipresence is our goal, being part and being whole once together now apart. We find an ending in the start. Reflections of jihad reveal a different me in you I feel. At first refusing a lesson share, changes called for though not dare. So now the space between is gone We're left alone to carry on Once filled with wonder, hope and love What's left is well worth thinking of The space between when kept alive is full of all we need to thrive let no one soil what God has placed between two souls is sacred space omnipresence is our goal being part and being whole once together now apart we find an ending in the start reflections of jihad reveal a different me in you I feel at first Refusing a lesson share Changes called for though not dare Omnipresence is our goal Being part and being whole Once together now 
apart We find an ending In 